Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. Well, it's not too bad out there right now, but there's some stuff on the radar. Julie kind of headed this way. You know, pretty interesting radar. And most of our homes, you know, everything's quiet. Mm -hmm. But take a look at Viper 2 HD. We're actually watching severe weather uh, down to our south and east. The yellow boxes you see there, that's a tornado watch in effect for Alabama. There have been some tornado warnings into uh, portions of Louisiana today. Now, this activity is moving away, but this storm system is actually important to us because it's robbing us of a lot of the available moisture. So as we have a secondary storm system that's dropping through Kansas, it's showing up on radar, but any of the precip associated with this will be very light. Can't help but notice all that white right across uh, Kansas. I've seen a couple snowflakes around Wichita into uh, just south of Kansas City. Across the state line into uh, Oklahoma, we're warm enough that we're mainly looking at just a couple light sprinkles. Again, this is very light in nature. I have the radar on a very sensitive uh, mode right now. But they are seeing a few light snowflakes around Winfield and also our Kansas City. And as the day wears on, I can't rule out a couple sprinkles or a light shower at your house. And for a few of us, especially across northern Oklahoma, it's possible that a little bit of that could mix in with a little bit of the white stuff. So it's so certainly something we'll be watching really closely. Live through our neighborhood network, we'll take you to Manford. Still seeing sunshine, but I'd like you to count on the clouds increasing today. Downtown cam also shows that sunshine this morning. We're in the mid-40s right now through our Brookside cam. It feels like 41. The wind's out of the north at 8. We did have an initial wind shift line moving through our state this this morning there is some colder air that will also be funneling in you'll start to feel that colder air by this afternoon and that's also when the winds will be picking up we're at 41 coffeeville and bartlesville we're in the upper 40s right now in muskogee 51 degrees in McAllister. again north breezes outside notice that north wind already picking up around ponca city where you have that mist around and it feels like it's 28 degrees it doesn't feel too bad right now in prior and tahlequah muskogee not much of a wind chill but again we're watching uh, the cloud cover that was around this morning those clouds have been breaking and now this system as it continues to drop into Oklahoma looks more impressive on radar than what we'll actually see here at home but we'll maintain that low chance of a passing sprinkle could be a little bit of a wintry mix this future cast model keeps the bulk of the moisture out to the west but we'll maintain that chance as this wave passes through as we head through this afternoon this evening and overnight tonight by tomorrow morning the clouds will be breaking it will set us up for a cold day on Friday, but I think we should be dry. If we see anything Friday, it would be super early in the morning. Again, maybe a flurry left over from that activity, but that would be just about it. Christmas Eve looks dry, as does Christmas Day. So in Broken Arrow today, you're shooting for a high of about 49 degrees. We'll be in the 40s, 44 in Bartlesville, about 41 in Coffeeville. Temperatures in the low 50s by the time folks get off from work down by McAllister. In the 20s by morning, 25 degrees in Tulsa tomorrow afternoon. We'll spend most of the day in the 30s. We'll make about 41 degrees down to 22 Christmas Eve morning. Uh, 46 Saturday afternoon looks dry for Santa's flight into town. 26 Christmas morning with a high of 50. It looks like we'll be in the mid 50s uh, as we head into next week. So really the one system to watch, the one I'm watching uh -huh. right now after that looks like it's smooth sailing for us. Clear skies for Santa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good news. Thank you, Julie.